I'm up here at Mount Falcon Park hiking the castle trail from the top down. You can see Denver over there just to give you a perspective of where I am in relation to a lot of my videos because I can see the city skyline a lot of times out here hiking. So anyway, just getting started. Um, no open carry of firearms, it says on the sign, so I'm going to have to keep mine bagged. And I didn't bring a straight blade or a walking stick today, just my folding pocket knife. So um, I'm going to try to pick up a stick here and uh, be on guard. It's like Wednesday. Haven't seen anybody yet, but I just got here. All right. Whatever broke this, it's old. But kind of interesting that these trees just snap like that. Check out this feather I just found. It's a big one. Goes good with my new walking stick here. I'm going to go down here and Look at these arches and see what I see. Get down into this. The trail goes to the right. <clears throat> There's kind of a rocky boulder outcropping that separates uh, this area right here going up into the where the trail is. So I'm not that far. I just started walking downhill and uh, see what I can see. All right, bye bye. Wild raspberries growing here. There's no fruit yet. I think those flowers get pollinated by the, the bees and the bugs and the flies and such. And, uh, and then there'll be fruit a little bit later in the summer, but you can see them going down here. And good food for the Sasquatch. We know they love their berries. Right here we've got this uh, stump where this, this bark has been ripped, ripped off the log. Really pretty. Pretty log. Got some sticks leaned up against it too that I didn't even notice coming up here. I mean, I doubt those grew there. I could go take a look. Well, the base is all smashed up, but yeah, you be the judge. Looks like that one's been there for a while. This one. Who knows? Doesn't look like that grew there. And that's placed over here. I wonder if something's digging all these up or if it's just decomposing. Hard to tell. And we got these arches again as they come across. Drop down in there, try not to waste video. Okay, let me do this real quick and kind of show you. You got that arch on the bottom, and then this tree here is arched over, and it's got this other one leaning on it. Now, I don't want to be disrespectful to the Sasquatch and just go harming their creations, but um, let's go ahead and see here if this grew here. Doesn't look like it. Now, as I try not to destroy things, you got this protection pushed down, wedged up in here, which I find to be possible evidence. Here you got kind of some X's, um, one coming down here, the other one coming across here somewhere, which I can't see the end, they meet in the middle and they can X. Um, here's another X from this guy on the ground with this knocked over. You know, maybe it just fell like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's really fascinating to feel like you're in an area that they've been in though, that they created, that they, you know, what do they do? Do they maintain the forest? 
Are they like, you know, out here just protecting the forest, making sure things go as planned? I just don't know. Is that an aspect to their life? I keep refer referencing this humanistic aspect of the Sasquatch, tempered with the, you know, vicious, ferocious aspect. Um, you know, you can sit in your living room and talk about it all you want, but when you get out here and you're in their domain, it's a, it's a whole nother game. So, um, I encourage you guys to come out and check it out. Look at the, both these trees are split open. That looks really cool with kind of a cross in the middle. Um, it's really loud. If I start walking through some of this, it's just like crack, snap, boom, bang. So I'm kind of just dropping in and checking to see what I get. And plus there's houses and there's private property, I think probably along there. I don't know, it was really windy driving up here. So I'm, I'm kind of disoriented, but anyway, I'm gonna just keep going. I know where the trail is. I mean, I know where I am in relation to my vehicle, but um, yeah, I mean, until I like can kind of see east from west, I get a little turned around or see the mountains, you know, to know which way I'm facing. Okie doke. We've got a couple dead leaners up on this arched over pine tree. Um, again, nothing 100% definitive, but ironic that they would kind of fall back uphill onto uh, that particular tree with the bend in it. This one's kind of interesting too. Um, this tree has been placed down on that bent pine. Uh, it did grow here but it was uprooted and put down right on that bent pine. I've seen a lot of that so far. Okay, I'm getting far off the trail now. I just armed myself. Let me show you guys something though. So look at this old arch. It comes up and down. You can see clearly. old one. Sorry, I'm speaking a little quiet. I thought I heard something right when I started the camera, but this here, I wonder if this is a bit newer. Maybe a freshly knocked over dead tree or, or what? I don't know, they just get pushed down. It's like they don't like them, uh, they don't like them up and in the way. These little dead ones that die kind of just get them out of the way all their travel corridors there's a bunch of trails through here look at this x sometimes you don't even see it you walk walk up and look at something and turn around and boom right there now that is that's pretty damn obvious it's beautiful out here all right i'm gonna stay quiet try to reserve the battery wild raspberries growing here There's no fruit yet. I think those flowers get pollinated by the, the bees and the bugs and the flies and such. And, uh, and then there'll be fruit a little bit later in the summer, but you can see them going down here. Good food for the Sasquatch. We know they love their berries. I think over here is gonna be my best evidence I've found yet. Um, but I stopped hiking because a chipmunk started alerting down there. So I just become very aware, very get very quiet. <clears throat> I'm gonna let the camera roll and we'll walk over here together. <sighs> My heart is starting to pound. Just a little out of excitement and nervousness. Like I said, I need to respect Sasquatch, but this seems like <laughs> something that they may have built. Wow. I'm really pleased with myself right now. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look brand new by any means, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't be utilized on a regular basis. Oh, I'm just a little wary of what's down there. I'm, I'm walking this ridge line across kind of this military crest and uh, 
a little little deeper than that, but that's that's a pretty good shelter right there, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Before Snow Walker Prime gets on my fucking ass and says, Oh my god, you called the shelter a blind or a blind is shelter and it hasn't been recognized by science. How dare you? Anyway, if you don't know already, I hate that bastard, but um some trees down over here. I'll go take a closer look at that, but I see a dark spot up there. I don't know what that is right there. Sorry, I'm trying to look at it myself. Hmm. I'll have to keep in mind if that's still there in a few seconds. That's freaking me out. Okay. Well, this is downright awesome. Ooh. I'm going to take a few pictures from up here and then walk over there and see what that black spot is. Check it out. You can see where there's like four or five branches that have been snapped off. Six, I mean, even more down there. And um, got a couple of them leaned up in a tree here. You've got in a bush, whatever you want to call it. I just wonder, you know, if that's going to be like that. That's fresh, that's stuck in there. Pretty large. I'm going over here to this black spot, but it hasn't moved yet, so... I'm hoping it's nothing. Not anybody. <laughs> I want to actually go downhill. I saw some something like orange down there, and I was thinking it might be just a shadow on the backside of a rock. It looks like. Anyway, I mean heavily traveled corridors here. I don't know if you can tell. That's a freaking path right there. I mean it is blatant, and uh, haven't seen any garbage out here. It's right towards the beginning of the of the park. So I mean. You know, I mean, within a probably half mile, quarter mile, I probably walked in a thousand feet and went off trail from the parking lot. And uh, I'm just kind of making an angle deeper in the woods. Okay, got a big knock down right there with the with the branch sideways across it and note the branch over it okay so that branch was put on that after this was placed up on there I hate to say it man but it's pretty squatchy in here okay I'm gonna kill it and keep walking a very fresh tree break right here. I don't see any natural reason, aside from the natural Sasquatch habitat, that this thing would even be down. It's a sturdy old log. You can see the top had been snapped off previously. Down there's another fresh snap down here I'm gonna look at. I'll be right back. hearing this noise I don't know if it's a chipmunk alarm that's going off every like five or six seconds or if it's kind of like a rock clack sound hmm there's a 
There's a fresh one down here, right there. Pretty decent tree that's been broken. I'd like to see you guys push something like that over. Huh. I don't know what that noise was. Had me froze in there for a second. Oh, this is real fresh over here, guys. old. You know, another break right there. I'm sure you can see a million things. I don't even need to point it out. <clears throat> you just start looking around and wonder what the heck, what knocked that over? What did that? What did this? How did that happen? All right, I'm going to go up and out, not out, but kind of more along the trail, paralleling it. I'm getting deep. Alrighty. What do you think about this one here? Oh, I got to get some water. I'm getting a real dry mouth hiking up here, but uh, look at that. That might be a Sasquatch toe print, footprint. Not even kidding. Um, I should look a little harder right here i don't like looking down when i'm out here by myself though i tell you what i look around and up i'm not looking down at the ground for very long uh but anyway if you think those two things fell out there by yourself you're probably crazy uh good stuff keep on hiking i'm scared as fuck I got a tree snap right there fresh one <laughs> I mean, I'm scared as fuck right now. Holy shit. Please don't hurt me. I'm leaving. Holy shit. Look at look at these footprints going up. Holy shit. I'm not kidding, guys. Holy shit. I was standing there trying to figure out how to mark that location on my uh, phone. I got a big snap, like a hundred feet away, man. Holy shit, <laughs> I'm fucking scared.
Wow. Holy shit. Oh my God. I'm shaking guys. I can barely walk. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh. I've never been that scared. I don't know if I've ever been that scared in my life for those few seconds. Holy shit. My body just started walking backwards. Holy shit. I didn't know what to do. Oh my God. Holy shit. I think that's enough for one day. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Okay, sounds crazy, but I gotta disarm myself. I'm at the trailhead. Holy shit, okay. I'm gonna end it, catch you later. You guys, I'm not even kidding about that. I had just gifted three eggs in a plastic bag on that tree structure to the Sasquatch. And I wanted to mark the location on my, on my phone, but I had already marked where my car was and it had moved the mark location of my car. I'm not even going close to the woods. I'm going this way, back to the trail. Moved the uh, mark location of my car. It moved, it took that up and it made my new mark location where that structure was. So I'm sitting there looking, can I edit it in some way that I can name it and call it something? And then snap, like from me to where the fucking park bench is right now, right there. It's not that far, dude, I'm in the woods. I look over, I cannot see anything. Oh my God, but the last thing I feel like doing is filming, okay, and standing there. Cause I'm like, whatever just snapped that is big, okay? And it snapped it a big branch, like, yeah, I mean, not a huge branch, but like, I'm talking like two, three inch, one inch, you know, diameter twig, like a good snap. Oh my God, enough to give me about a fucking heart attack. There's a tree. Oh my God, tree up against the woods there. Got some hikers on the trail. I'll tell you what, that's why you don't see anything because you stay on the trail. Oh, this is real, I mean, I feel safer now that I'm back to people, but look how close that was to people. 10, 15 minute, 10 jog up, minute jog up the hill maybe. Oh, that was scary as hell. All right, over now. Okay guys, so, I came in on the left here and I walked in and then when I got to this hill right here I cut in over here and I went down there and, and back behind a little ways and I, all the way down and over and there was I found the structure up high then I walked down into the bowl and that's where I just had this encounter that scared the hell out of me um, I'm walking out but I've got a lot of battery life left I still got time I'm still freaked man but it's crazy like you can just run away and turn around and nothing's behind you and you feel a little bit safer it must be like how these deer feel out there being constantly stalked by the sasquatch I mean they're looking around we hear accounts all the time they're worried and you know I mean they must be dropping like flies but 
they just got to know, okay, not this time. It didn't get me this time. It was close, but it didn't get me this time. Um, and I'm not saying this thing's trying to get me, but I tell you what, it got my attention. And there's no doubt in my mind, it had to be the fucking Sasquatch, man. That was just, it was quiet in there. I saw a squirrel, but squirrel's not snapping something that loud. So anyway, I wanted to walk over here. I saw some trees that were down. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> my lungs are all messed up from running. Oh my God. <coughs> I still haven't got my breath back, but I'm going to come over here and check and just kind of look. It looks like it probably goes out to a point. I don't think it's anything major over here, but um, I'm just going to look before I go. Like I said, feeling a little bit safer, a little bit closer to people. I just don't know, man. I'm not ready to leave. I'm, I'm just, I can't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what, I mean, I think I was just too close, you know? I was in their area. I think I was just too close. But, uh, I don't know. I hope they like the hard-boiled eggs. At any rate, I hope they appreciate it. And I hope they eat them. What do you think, guys? Could that be a Sasquatch ground glyph? Um... There's a lot of activity over here, like dead trees. I'm thinking maybe they were cutting, doing a bunch of clearing of dead stuff. But also there's been a few more dead trees pushed over, um, just totally uprooted. So I'm wondering, you know, like the Forest Service didn't do that, come uproot the tree. Whoever's taking care of this, they'll come take care of the tree once it's down. The little snap on the top there. Um, but they're not just pushing them over. Now they do cut the dead ones, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, potential ground glyph in my opinion um, or maybe it just happened to fall like that but they're just kind of really noticeable um, within standing out so I thought I'd highlight it with the little video clip just can't get over that tree snap I don't know because I kept thinking that whole time that I was over in there I'm like I wonder if they can cloak you know I, I've been thinking about that just, I've been commenting a lot the last couple days, and uh, I'm just, you know, wondering if they can cloak, like, while I'm in there and stuff, and then snap, and man, nothing was in there with me, nothing was close. I'll, I'll you know, I'll walk a little ways, and I stop, and I listen for a while, or I'll do the same thing, I'll, then I've heard other people do, I'll walk, and I'll stop real quick on a rock or a log and take a soft step just to hear, is anything walking with me? Jesus, I put my gun away, but I got my fucking belt open and shit. I'm all over the place. Now that I'm off the trail, I think I'm going to arm myself again. All right, see you in a bit. Check this out. What keeps this tree down like that? What makes that tree keep, you know, growing down over the years? And it's probably, look at this, getting stepped on. You know, if you're stepping on that all the time, you're going to knock all this bark off. So I bet those Sasquatch are coming over here and just bam, stepping this down. Cause look at what we got right behind it. Not only that, look here, there's a little marker on the log as though they might've told us I went that way. Um, so, ooh, I can't hold a lot of weight though anymore. Maybe it's a kid playing on it. This is kind of cool though. You know, something stacked all that up there. Snap that tree down. Stack this one across. Put that little guy on there. Um, I mean, this is this is Mount Falcon Park, and once the park closes at sunset, the park opens for the Sasquatch. You know. <laughs> Jesus, man, after that encounter over there, I get scared now. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little wary. It really did scare the shit out of me. Oh, my lungs are like burning right now. I was not planning on running straight up out of there. I like to take my time and breathe. I just got winded really bad. I don't know what 
that is up there. If it's a private home or what. God, I can hardly stop coughing. At least they know I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming up this trail here. Not seeing a lot of human footprints over here. Freaking steep. Log falling over into the trees. Actually catching this pine tree and curving it down. Might be a coincidence. And then you see this structure-esque looking conglomeration. of the arch and the other tree from the left coming in to all kind of meet together. I think that's going to make a good picture, but you can tell, man, these, these areas are rocky. They're hidden. They're dark. There's a lot of good cover here. Good place for the Sasquatch to live. All right, so just starting off, I don't see like any footprints right here. Looks like this tree's been pushed down. The trail went just over there to the left and around this rocky little outcropping, but I'm kind of just cutting up through it. Um, you can see there's a bunch of trees down. Um, there's like a little mini X right up there. Trees crossed. There's a little arch. I don't have a lot of time left on my video. I just ran out and had to erase some things Oops. on the phone. tree down there flattens out up here on this side that tree's been pushed over another log leaned up there looks old but still all right so again right here could these be ground glyphs these just came from wherever and they were placed here going along this ridge line along the rocks here um, but you know something might have just laid this down to let something coming along know hey I went this way because I guess it seems like these Sasquatch well anyway I'll say this video about the chimpanzees they had this amazing memory they could just see a picture and it, for two seconds it would go away and they would remember everything in the picture everything where it was Ooh, wild turkey calling out here I wonder if that's a wild turkey feather I got in my ear right now. I found that big feather. Um, I don't know if I if I posted it, if I made a video about it, or if I just got the picture. But you'll see it sometime in this video. Um, but anyway, about these glyphs, yeah, could they be putting this here as they go along? Who knows? Furthermore, here's another question: Could Sasquatch impersonate a wild turkey well enough to? to lure one in and throw a rock at it or snag it from behind a tree or a block. Okay, I'm seeing fresh snaps up here. Um, right here. Um, some more stuff here. It's at the top of this little rock rock uh, hill that I was walking up to. Got like a little lookout. 
tree at the top. It's got some dead stuff in it right there. Um, it's kind of interesting. Kind of like a little bowl on top. A cool little hangout area. You know, if somebody's coming up one way, you could just come down the other. And then it recedes down here to these like little levels and drops off the backside. And it goes down into deep wilderness. So this is an area where they could sneak up, come up on the park and overlook the hikers and such from a westerly direction. And that's down 285 going towards Conifer and Bailey. Over and out. Look at this, this tree was pushed over and there's a rock that's been placed up on top of it. So you can't tell me that's natural. <laughs> that's interesting. I wonder how that happened. You can see some other stuff here and then this I wonder if they're looking for squirrels and stuff in these rocks or if it's just, you know, deteriorating and falling down. Or just wonder why this one is placed up on here. If it was purposely put there, if it was maybe tossed aside and landed there. I don't know. I'm going to get going down and head home. I just heard thunder rolling up. I told my wife I wouldn't be too much longer. Just so cool up here. Lightning probably struck right there. There's fire. Lightning probably struck right there. So uh, I'm not in a very good spot. I'm gonna get my ass going.